Hey everyone, we're here in Portugal, just south of Lisbon, and we're checking out this off-grid micro-cabin. It has a really interesting and unique shape, and it's in one of the most beautiful settings we've ever seen. It's in a pine tree forest, and it's right by the ocean. The cabin has solar power, a gravity-fed water system, a propane cooktop and fridge, and there's a separate bathroom with a dry toilet, and for showers it has a wood-fired hot water tank. So in this video I'm going to give you a tour of the cabin, and I'm also going to talk a bit about how the systems work and how the cabin was built. So now we're in the cabin. As you can tell, it's pretty cozy in here. It's pretty small. It's just around 10 feet wide by 10 feet long. And it's just about six foot three. Going clockwise around the room first, when you come in here at the entrance, there's a small uh, area for storing some stuff. And then under here, we have our suitcases. Over here is the bed. It's a double bed and it's placed on a pallet base. Here is the kitchen area. Uh, there's a small sink here, propane cooktop, very basic. And then below here is the fridge, and that's running off propane also. And then under here is just a little bit of storage for uh, pots, uh, pans, some dishes, and then we have some of our food down here. And up here are just some of the kitchen essentials. And then here's a little vent for when you're cooking. The table is here, the dining table. Uh, what's nice about this is that it also folds down if you need to clean or if you need a bit more space for anything. Over here is the kind of utility area. So there's the garbage, little broom, fire extinguisher. So the lights are running off of solar power. So this is the main light switch for the cabin. And then there's another reading light down there above the bed. And then there's also two wall sockets here and under there for charging stuff or powering anything. For ventilation, there's also a window here that you can open up. And uh, this way you can get good cross ventilation if you open the door a little bit and open this. And then of course the defining feature of the cabin is the round door. It just kind of frames what you're looking at through the door and then there's also a nice round window right next to the door that kind of ties everything together. You'll probably notice that there's no source of heat or insulation in the cabin and that's just because Portugal has a very mild climate and the winters here don't get that cold. So the foundation of the cabin is basically gravel and then sitting on top of that is a wood beam frame. Then there's the two front and back wood framed walls. And then there's two pairs of metal arches that you can see inside and those provide support for the whole structure. On the outside of those metal arches, there's some thick slats that go from the ground all the way to the rooftop. And then on the outside of that, from top to bottom, it's covered with a shingle type membrane. On the outside of that, it's covered with this woven heather mat. And this comes in a big roll and it's placed on top of the structure. Uh, it apparently gives it a little bit of insulation. It also muffles the sound from the rain. And aesthetically, it just helps the cabin blend into the environment a little bit more. The owner was also mentioning that it's slowly catching the pine needles that keep falling on it. And then it's just integrating more and more into the landscape. So I actually really like this feature. Uh, propane tanks are not necessarily always the nicest to look at. So they found a way here to hide it underground. So they built a cement box in which they can drop the propane tank. It's hooked up here and it's going up into the cabin. Over here are the solar panels. There's six 250 watt solar panels and that's charging eight batteries. And that system is powering our cabin. It's also powering a few other structures on the property. And it's also powering the pump that brings the water from the well into the cistern. So every morning they're able to run the pump for just about 20 minutes to top up the cistern. So once the water is up in that cistern, it naturally creates water pressure. 
And then all the structures on the property can have gravity-fed pressurized water without needing a pump in each one. Over here is the bathroom building. So here you have a really simple dry compost toilet system. What's nice about this one is that I'll show you in the back, there's basically two trays that capture the waste. Uh, so when one of the trays is full, this toilet seat can be switched to this area here, and then this tray can be used while this one is being cleaned out. Here there's a small sink. The shower is over here. And probably my favorite part is this wood-fired water heater. So this holds 90 liters of water, and by building a small fire down here, you can have hot water for your shower in less than 30 minutes. Basically, this uh, water tank is always full. It's constantly getting fed water from the cistern. And then there's no pump uh, pumping water from the hot water tank on into the shower. It's just gravity fed from the top. And you actually get a surprising amount of water pressure. This is an antique, but they apparently still use them in parts of Portugal, Poland, Russia. And I'm actually surprised these aren't more popular. So this is where the uh, waste goes from the dry toilet. So as you can see, there's the two compartments here. And those can be used one at a time while the other one's being cleaned out. And these two compartments are being vented through those two pipes up there. So there's actually no smell in the bathroom. And the waste here eventually gets composted for use on uh, fruit trees. Over here is the gray water filtration pit. They basically dug a hole and it's lined with stones, wood, branches, and straw. And that filters the gray water and they also only use natural soaps. We're so happy we got to come and spend a little bit of time in this cabin. It's in such a beautiful setting. And the fact that it's just a few steps away from some pretty impressive cliffs looking onto the Atlantic Ocean, it just makes it that much more special. So I would definitely recommend visiting this place if ever you're in Portugal. This place is called Slow Life and they actually rent out a couple of these cabins and some other retro campers. We found this on Glamping Hub, so I'll put a link to that in the description of this video if you want to check it out. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. We post a new video every single week.